Hey guys, it's UK Spy here, and welcome to episode 10 of my Let's Play series. Um, first of all, there may be a crash in the middle of this episode, because, and it, there is lag, just because Minecraft crashed about 20 times before I was recording this, and I know you're like, 20, yeah, right, you're just embellishing. No, actually, I'm not. Uh, 20 would be on the small side. So fix your game, Daniel. Well, Aaron technically if you want to be technical but oh this lag is painful I can't believe that it crashed like 20 times so I rebooted my iPod and it hasn't crashed yet but no promises if it does I'm not gonna restart we'll just keep on keeping on uh, so yeah the lag is dying down a bit now that's nice uh, but I'll show you what I've done on making a spleef arena and answer some of the questions and I have a special surprise for you in a bit once I show you the spoof arena and work on that for a little bit more you're just gonna have to stick around to see what that is okay but yeah um, what would happen is as soon as I started the game it would crash instantly or as soon as I start recording it would crash instantly and I don't know what the problem was uh, but that happens with a lot of games on an iPod that hasn't been re re rebooted in a while but I mean Minecraft is it that like I don't know something intensive I don't know what you would call it but like other games like MC 2 or 3 if you play that and it crashes I can understand that but Minecraft come on it's not even an infinite world um, like games like Mind Builder, I've never had crash. Well, I have, but like, um, ne like on the loading screen, they crash, but never like in the game. So I don't know. Fix it. So anyway, we're back at our place that we showed each other um, yesterday, I guess. If I upload it the same day as I am recording. That would be yesterday. I got 64 more of these. And you're wondering, wait, this is a spleef arena. Why are you placing um, gates? Well, this is a cool idea. Because when you're doing a survival spleef arena, you honestly can't... Uh, oh, ooh. Uh oh, let's fix that. Okay, you honestly can't use wool because as soon as you break it, you're probably not going to get it back and it will run out. But with this... You're good. I'll show you why as soon as we'll just get on. Okay, look. So you go on. You're on the spleef arena. Instead of breaking the block, you just tap. This is also instant, which is nice because most tools aren't instant in survival, so you can have an instant thing. So you're running. Someone breaks in front of you. Ooh, you fall in. So that's the... I tried to fly there for some reason. So that's how that works. It's just like... And then you can repair it by just tapping it and closing it again. So that's that's pretty cool. I like that. So we'll just start working on this and answer a few questions. Um, one guy asked in a very unpolite way. <laughs> it made me sad. He said, well, LOL, your logic is so absurd or something like that. I don't know exactly how he worded it, but he pretty much said, well, how are we supposed to record our iPod if we can't touch the screen? Because according to you, that's the mic. Well, the screen isn't the mic. Your iPod is the mic. And if you touch your iPod, yes, you're touching the mic. And I said in the video, and if you watched the video before you commented, you would have noticed that I said you should buy a separate mic that's plugged into a mic. It's plugged into a headset, so you talk into the headset and touch on your iPod. You're not touching the mic anymore. Does that make sense now? Okay? Watch the video next time before you comment. Now, into the real questions. Uh, one question was, do you live in the city and or in the country? Uh, I live in the city. I've never lived in the country. I've lived in the suburbs before, but never in the um, country. So I don't know what it would be like to live in the country. I would like it for some reasons. Like, for example, I would prefer my ultimate place to live would be in the suburbs. Um, just because you get a little mix of both. Um, because in the city, it's good because everyone lives nearby you. That's really nice. And in the country... You get like lots of um, space, like I could play airsoft all the time and no one would be complaining. It, it would just be really nice. 
because I like to play airsoft. If you don't know what that is, that's the more awesome version of paintball. Um, so yeah, that's that's that really. I've never lived in the country, so I don't know what it would be like. But I probably wouldn't have good Wi-Fi or anything. So that might also be bad because I have pretty quick upload time unless I use YouTube uploads because it is horrible. And the last video I uploaded, it was rendering, not rendering, um, processing for four hours, maybe four and a half, and then it said upload failed. So I had to upload it again. That's why it was a little bit late. Okay, so yeah, that's 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 how the spleef arena works. And then I've just kind of cleared the rest of the cactus, as you can see. Gonna have to do a little bit more work. We'll go kill these zombies. But yeah, that's that's the answer to that question. Uh, what was the last one? Can you give us more news on the 4.0 update? Yes, yes, I can. Um, I don't know this. I don't know if there's really any new news, but I'll just give you like my rundown of everything. Confirmed, our furnaces and probably creepers. They're mostly confirmed. Um, but uh, with furn people are like with furnaces. There's no iron and gold tools. Well, here's how Daniel worded it in his uh, question and A on Twitch, I believe it was. I didn't watch it, but I watched the recap of it or whatever. Um, but pretty much what he said is people ask, will there be diamond tools in the 3.0 update? Not three, Yeah, 3.0 update. And he said no, because there's no furnaces. But um, next episode, next update rather we'll have furnaces so pretty much what he said there isn't iron tools right now but next update we'll have furnaces and then that'll mean there'll be iron tools and everything so if there's furnaces it's pretty much 99.9% .9 there's iron tools because what's more basic they're fully coated so all they need is a way to craft them not craft them. yeah craft them and uh, yeah that's that's really all there is to it what would you add buckets need quite a bit of coating and they're not coated yet armor would be very hard I don't think that's coming at all, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much all you could really ask for, unless you are talking about like smooth stone shears and stuff like that, but yeah, that's one of the main things, Ooh, that's okay there, so I don't know why people say, oh, it might not come out, but I'll give you like a recap of, not recap, I don't know, but uh, Daniel Kaplan said uh, his estimate was it should come out today, between today when I'm recording this on Wednesday, and Saturday that's his estimate so that'd be pretty awesome if that is true so it could possibly come out today and there could be an update video today as well as this um, but yeah that's exciting and since that is happening I started working on my ultimate survival and I'll be giving you a little bit of a look of that look at that I've been working on it since 3.0 came out, but not very much. I've been working on it a lot more lately, so that's exciting. Um, but yeah, the things that I'm going to just give you order from most confirmed to least confirmed, and I won't go things that aren't confirmed and there's just a chance, because there's tons of things everyone wants. Uh, goes like this. Furnaces, iron tools, or all to new tools, I should say. Uh, creepers. Um, what's the next one? Creepers and more mobs. So those are the four things that are probably going to happen. And more mobs means spiders and skeletons. Stupid zombie falling off the roof. Um, but yeah, there's only like really four things. There might be more things, I'm not sure. And of course, new blocks. We know there will be bricks and glass craftable or furnace... Furnaceable! New word of the day. Today's episode is brought to you by the word furnaceable. Okay, so yeah, um, that's really all that there is for that question. But now, we'll go give you the sneak peek of my ultimate survival. I'm really excited to show you this. Um, I'm not going to show you. I have tons of t new TNT traps that I really like. Uh, but I'm not going to show you any of those so they surprise you. But as you can see, I'm on a new building. And this means there's going to be a furnace with iron in it. I'm just putting those so I don't forget. But I put some cool stuff here. I've got... This is really hard parkour, um, but not too hard. Iron door, so you can't get in there. That's kind of cool, and I got that through IMCPE Edit, because everyone asked me. And if you're wondering how you get that, you get it through Cydia. You have to type in the source. If you want to know that, check out my video for that. 
Uh, so yeah, that's one of the new towers. Then over here, I really like this. I spent a lot of work on this, putting in mossy stone, as you can see. Looks very nice. And then there's a whole basement down there that you're going to have to explore once you download this. Um, oh yeah, and also there's version 1 of this if you want to download that. I have a video on that. You can check that out if you want to. It's on my channel. And I put a bunch of random houses just here and there. Maybe there's some stuff in there. I'm not telling you. Uh, TNT traps all over the place. And then the thing I've been working on the most lately. It's laggy because it's just loading. Dun, dun, dun. This island. Ooh. And this, I will show you the dungeon underneath because I really like this. And uh, this is one of the places you can get a diamond sword. And I'm assuming you can't store them in chests. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm assuming there's no chests, and you can't store them in furnaces. So watch this. This is really cool. So you go down here. You've got a little bit of a challenge here because there's lava. But you can go like that. Now you're in here. I'm going to get rid of those torches too. Actually, I should have, like, just to get the idea of what it's going to look like. Ooh, don't break the ladder. Dang it! There we go, and we'll get our shovel again so we don't place stuff in lava and lose it. Lose the lava. Don't lose your lava. Okay, there we go. So yeah, you, you beat the lava parkour. Go down here, and there's a pathway. So pretty much what you, you blow this up, and I did some tests, and it'll give you anywhere from three to five diamonds. That's my test. I've had it give you once, one before. There's nine plus four. So there's 13 diamond and one TNT. Um, so you should probably get two. If you don't, it's a very small chance. I was doing some uh, tests with that. So you're most likely to get it. And it doesn't matter if you get more than two, because there's not really anything you can do with it, unless you're on a team with someone. But really then, I doubt that's going to happen. And um, yeah, it's okay if both your team gets a diamond sword. Because there's no like upgraded diamond sword, dang it. So yeah, you can die. If you die, you fall in the lava, you die. Because there's a glitch, you can't swim up in lava, so there's no way to hop out. Ever. Turns out, also when I was testing this out, guests on a multiplayer server can die in lava. In, in creative, of course. I mean, in survival, that's like, meh. But in creative, which is interesting. Uh, very interesting. And also, zombies have really bad pathfinding in water. I was just playing around in creative with zombies in the water. It was hilarious. They would just walk the other way and try and kill me for some reason. I don't know. It was weird. But, yeah, that, that's pretty much what there is for this. Um, I'll just quickly go back to sign off the episode in UK Spies Let's Play. Do 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 do. That's what you need to add. Music on the loading screen. Yes, patent that idea and keep it for goodness sake. What? Okay. Um. Yeah. So before I embarrass myself anymore, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching. UKS spy.